So here I am back, standing in the rain, as usual, in Vancouver. I think it has rained non-stop since I've got here, but uh, I thought I'd show a little bit of the culture going on uh, as the Olympics get closer and closer. We're about two weeks away today. Uh, starts on February 12th, today's January 28th. I'm standing at the arch, or an archway. Um, this is all Taiwanese art, by the way. Uh, some signs call this the Cultural Olympiad, so I just want to show you some of the displays behind me. I've just kind of walked through it fairly quickly. Uh, as you can see, some of them are lit up. And uh, I was here last night, and uh, these exhibits definitely take on uh, sort of a second life when they're all lit up. Uh, these ones here are lit up, the, the uh, totem poles. And then we kind of go into sort of a tree lantern forest. If you look closer at uh, what's hanging from the trees there, they look what to be uh, children's drawings. So I'm assuming uh, schools from around uh, BC, Vancouver, who knows, maybe Canada, uh, had their classes draw, I guess, what the Olympics mean to them, and they hung them up on the trees here. Next is something a little more related to the sports venues here, for the sports that'll be uh, going on in the Olympics. We have uh, silhouettes, snowboarding, snowboarding, skiing. But that doesn't compare really to my favorite exhibits at the Cultural Olympiad here. The first one that I just love is this one here. Barriers and caution tape over a great city of Vancouver barriers, I should add. And then my other favorite one is this. Alien spray painted on the ground with Prince Charles, the cover of Prince Charles on his forehead. <laughs> so that's it today, newsfix.ca, a taste of the cultural Olympiad here in Vancouver.